Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Authentically Amber. I'm Amber, and today I'd like to talk about change. Um, change as it relates to weight loss, but also change in any personal development manner. Um, I want to talk about the three challenges of change and the three benefits of change. You know, there it's been said that there's one constant in life, change. <laughs> That's so true. Um, so let's talk about three challenges of change. Um, one being procrastination. <laughs> Some of us like to put things off um, till tomorrow, what we could do today. Um, and we say, you know, one day we'll change this. One day we'll deal with that and just put whatever habit or personal, you know, um, idiosyncrasy or challenge on the back burner. And um, sometimes uh, we just need to take the bull by the horns and just jump in and just resolve within ourselves that, you know what, there's no time like the present <laughs> to make that change. Another real uh, struggle with change is the fear of failure. And I think this can be tied into some elements of procrastination too, because we say to ourselves, well, self, what if it doesn't work out like I had planned? Then I will be a failure. And sometimes we can have in our minds that, you know what, failure is like final. <laughs> but we know that it is a stepping stone. It's a natural prog progression in life. Um, we all will fail many times over. So why do we fear it so much? There's so much negativity. So sometimes we just don't act. We just stop in our tracks. And also there's the fear, not only of failure, but the fear of the unknown. We cling tightly to the familiar. <laughs> we like the familiar, even if the familiar is not working for us. We cling to it, but this obviously is not very healthy because we all have areas of, um, you know, development that needs to take place and things that we need to change. So we can't be stuck with clinging to what's so familiar. The third challenge of change is that it's overwhelming. We don't know where to begin. It's too taxing. Um, the task is too mammoth, uh, where to begin. We don't know. And so we don't do anything. <laughs> and again, this is not a healthy uh, response, but these are things that we face when we're confronted with change, whether we should change or not. And again, like I said, we procrastinate fear of failure or the unknown. And sometimes it's just too much. It's just too overwhelming. So how do we deal with these issues? How do we make any movement forward to achieving our goals as it relates to weight loss or any element of our lives? How do we move forward? So I want to talk about the three benefits of change. Number one, um, it teaches flexibility. <laughs> um, it gets, our mindset and our life out of a rut. You know, we get into these habits and um, especially the older we get, we just do things out of habit. We do things because this is how we've always done it. And so not necessarily that it's always the right choice or the right way, but we just do it out of habit. We've got these ruts, these created paths in our brain, and we just keep going in those same ruts. It's hard to steer the car out of those ruts, those potholes. And then, um, so we can learn flexibility when we're faced with new challenges, um, if we're willing to confront change. Um, and of course, like I said, change is the one constant in life. Our worlds are constantly changing and we do need to be flexible because um, otherwise, we will get stuck in a rut. And, uh, you know, there's lots of uh, bodies of water here in Florida where I live. And uh, there are these ponds, different places. 
And if they do not have a uh, active tributary uh, bringing in fresh water, they can become very stagnant. And stagnant water is prime breeding ground for mosquitoes and infectious disease <laughs> and all of these things. Why am I mentioning ponds? <laughs> because our minds and our lives can become the cesspool of infectious waste. <laughs> Breeding ground for mosquitoes that serve no purpose and actually are detrimental to our lives. So we don't want that. We want to keep our lives like a steady stream uh, moving forward in life, not as a stagnant pond. Nobody wants that. Um, and then the second benefit is it, flexibility and adapting to change um, offers new opportunities. You know, when we're willing to just get out of our comfort zone and try something new, um, like me, uh, for instance, um, deciding to join Weight Watchers. Um, that was a new opportunity for me. And if I had said, no, I'm not doing it because I'm not a joiner. I, I'm not a group participant, really. I, I like to do things independently and uh, on my own terms, <laughs> as I think a lot of people do. Um, so what if I said no to all of that? Uh, first of all, I would not have lost now 35 pounds <laughs> and I would not be on my way to losing 103 pounds. So we lose out on opportunities when we close off our mind and we say, you know what? I am not willing to make this change. I am saying no. But what if we were willing to say yes? What if? And lastly, the third benefit of embracing change is it helps us to grow. It helps us to um, become compassionate also with others. When we're willing to change and to see others uh, from a different viewpoint and just embrace change, we will grow personally. And um, that's obviously the goal in life to continue to mature. You know, um, it's like I tell my kids that we should never stop learning. <laughs> we homeschooled for 20 years. And so um, we're big advocates of continuing education, <laughs> reading, readers are leaders. Um, so, you know, just being willing to continue to grow daily not to shut down and say, you know what, I know all I need to know and I don't want to make any changes. I'm fine. I'm tired. Life is too much. No, we don't want to be like that. We want to just have um, continuous development and personal change. So I encourage you today to um, embrace change. Change can be uncomfortable. It can be um, difficult. <laughs> And this is precisely why many people close off their mind to any change. But I uh, definitely want to encourage you that an added benefit of uh, change, an added bonus, is one discipline in life tends to spill over in other areas of your life. So, for instance, um, if you begin to eat healthy and lose weight, that generally tends to spill over in other areas. Maybe you dress a little nicer. Maybe you keep a neater house. Maybe you're more willing to deal with the clutter in your life. Um, you know, maybe you actually take up exercise. You know, one discipline, once you can transform one area of your life, it tends to have a domino effect. So this is definitely an added benefit of embracing change. And um, lastly, I'll leave you with this. Um, <laughs> as a mother of three, now grown kids, but when they were little, I watched copious amounts of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and he was one of my personal favorite uh, cartoon characters. But I recently saw this uh, framed print and this quote by Aaron Hansen. And it's a picture uh, of Winnie the Pooh holding onto a balloon and there are these bees uh, trickling around in the air and Pooh says, oh, but what if I fall? And then the next line says, oh, but my darling, what if you fly? 